games. Woo! Let's go. Uh, Hursty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time. Hey there, guys. Team. Welcome back to Hursty Games, and welcome to a FIFA 22 starting squad squad builder. Now, I made a few of these before the game came out. Cards that I think look fantastic, and I thought were going to be very viable in the game. Now the game has been out, and I've been playing it for quite a long time, actually, quite a lot of time, but into the game already. But I have found 11 very, very good players that do fit into an incredibly good and incredibly cheap starter team that I think will get you some definite, definite wins at the start of 22. Now, at the time of recording this, this team is 20,000 coins to buy. The only small exception will be you will need to buy one chem style change just to get players on chemistry. There are a couple of ways that you can rotate the team around and have everyone on chem apart from one player, and I'll discuss that when we get into the video. But at the time of recording, 20,000 coins on PlayStation. On Xbox, ever so slightly above that, at a roughly 21.5 to 22.5. It's sort of fluctuating between those because of a couple of players sort of going up and down a little bit with packs being opened and stuff. But without further ado, let's get into this incredibly good, incredibly OP starter team for FIFA 22. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off with Emi Martinez in goal. Now, this guy for me is probably the joint best goalkeeper in the game that I have come up against. Him and Edouard Mendy are both absolutely broken and absolutely fantastic. Martinez, for an 84 rated card, is definitely going to get cheaper as well. He's not that expensive. Uh, right now on the market, he is sitting at roughly 2.6k. For an 84 rated card, that's very, very cheap. And I do expect to see him at some point go up in price but because at the moment he's at 2.6 I do also think he's a very very good pickup regardless because of that but again he is very very overpowered I would have put Edward Mendy in here if the link to Edward Mendy wasn't so expensive as a small spoiler alert that link would have been Rudiger but Rudiger is currently sat at about 11 and a half thousand coins and to be fair Rudiger is definitely worth that because he is also very very good however that takes the price up to about 30k and I wanted to try and keep this at around the 20k mark at right back, we're going to look at Fredericks. Fredericks, as you can see, I've only used a little bit, but his in-games are decent. His in-games are very, very good. The only thing that kind of worried me when I first looked at his card, honestly, was the heading accuracy, the jumping, and the strength. And I don't really notice any of it. I have to be honest with you. The strength, he doesn't feel that weak. The jumping, I didn't really notice it. And heading accuracy, again, I didn't really notice it. So I genuinely, when I first looked at this card and looked at this team, I thought... I don't know how I feel about Fredericks and, and how he plays, but since using him, I can tell you he's very, very good. And actually, you don't necessarily notice the low physicality on him. Ideally, you're going to put like an anchor card on this anyway, so that's all going to get boosted regardless. But Fredericks is a very good and very quick, viable right back. Also pretty good actually going up the pitch if you have your fullbacks over overlapping at any point. At first centre-back, we're going to go with Consa. Consa obviously gets the link to Emi uh, Martinez, obviously also has a link into Fredericks anyway. Cons is very good, boys. Cons is very, very good for 750 coins. And also, by the way, Fredericks didn't tell you is about two and a half k. He again, he fluctuates a little bit, but he's at two and a half k at the time of recording this. Cons is very, very good again for basically discard or for the cheapest price you can get him of around 700 to 750 coins. He's very, very good. Nice and strong. Very, very just dominant at the back. I have to say. Obviously, there will be some players that you can improve upon at some point down the line, and Conta could be one of those. Again, if you decide you want to get that Rudiger card, and uh, you could then maybe go into like an, uh, a Mendy in gold to get the chemistry again. But if you haven't got those coins right now, you haven't got 30k, you've got nearer 20, Conta is definitely going to be a very good shout for you at the back. And partnering him at centre-back is Hermoso. This guy's fantastic. This guy's absolutely fantastic. Again, you look at some things like balance and, and all this kind of stuff. It, it doesn't really that make that much of a difference right now. I haven't found his balance to be a problem. He's nice and agile, and that kind of makes up for it a little bit anyway. Again, you want to put maybe something like a, an anchor in this card regardless. So you get the pace boost, you get the defense boost, you get the physicality boost. Hermoso's, again, another very good card. And again, I've really enjoyed using him. For me personally... I don't find he gets beat that often for pace, if at all. The only player I've really struggled to defend against with him was Martial, but I've struggled defending against Martial with my main team, let alone a budget team. So I have to say, I think Hermoso is a very good and very viable card, especially at the start of the game. And again, he is very, very cheap. He is currently sat at 900 coins for this card. It's a joke, boys. It's ridiculous. At left back, we're going to go to his Spanish teammate in Yuri Berchiche. Is how I'm going to say that. I always say it wrong. So allow me. But this guy, again, very good for starter teams. This guy looks fantastic. I'm not going to lie to you. Again, 900 coins. 
it it just it's, it makes so much sense to get this card because he is so ridiculously cheap for how good his card looks and again for starter teams to have him and Hermoso sort of linking to each other that really allows you to have a bit of freedom going into the rest of the squads and stuff because that's an easy green link of two very good defensive cards so for me Yuri again is another no-brainer. Offers something a little bit different to Fredericks. Isn't that out-and-out -out pace, but is a bit more physical and is definitely going to do your job at that left-hand side. And again, another card I've really enjoyed using at the start of this game. Going forward into the midfield, we're going to start with the right winger, and that is Bailey or Bailey. I think it's Leon Bailey, not Bailey, but Bailey. Fantastic. This guy is one of the more expensive cards on the team. I think he is the most expensive card on the team. 5.6k, as it says on the market right now. And Bailey's very good. Bailey is honestly fantastic. His four-star, four-star, 93 pace. Very, very good on that left, uh, right-hand side, cutting in on that left foot of his. And he is just very, very, very usable. I really have to say this right now. One of the best right mids I've used. If you're wanting to be a little bit more budgeted, you could go and get yourself a Ferran Torres. He's about, I think, 900 coins. So if you really want to be on that budget, go ahead and do that. Bailey, however, for me is worth that little bit of extra coinage. One thing to bear in mind with Bailey is I do think he is going to drop in price at some point. I think it'll be maybe after the first weekend league because I think a lot of people are going to want to run Bailey in their Prem teams if they haven't got themselves a big right winger. Bailey just makes sense as that sort of intermediate. He's not one of the big, big cards, but he's very quick and he's very, very good in the game. So Bailey for me is a no-brainer. Now onto the midfielders. These two midfielders, incredibly overpowered for the start of the game. First of all, Saul. He is so much better in game than he is in real life. It is a joke. Honestly, Saul is one of the best starter cards. I, I genuinely mean this. One of the best starter midfielders in the game. Again, the balance and agility, I haven't noticed. I haven't noticed it being bad. Um, I did sell one at one point because he did have a little spike in the market, which is why I don't have one right now. But he genuinely is very, very good. When I say spike in the market, he's immediately back down now to 1.9k. He went up to 3.5. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to sell him in this hype and then wait for him to drop again. And he has dropped again. So 1.9k currently on the market. And again, genuinely, he is so, so good. In this, he's going to be running as a CDM for you. You can utilize him as a box-to-box -box if you want or need to. Or you can use Marino as your box-to-box. -box. 83 rated card, by the way. 83 rated card. Look at the, st the stats on this card and tell me why this is 1.3k. I don't understand it. I bought him when he was in a bit of a hype. It was kind of... I needed him for my team, so I kind of went for it. But legitimately... Marino is unbelievably good, guys. He is so, so good. And I cannot recommend this card highly enough. Genuinely, I think one of the only starter centimeters that are better than Saul. And I, Saul is absolutely fantastic. Marino is brilliant. Gets up and attack nicely. Comes back to defend nicely. I personally have him as my stay back CDM. Um, because in my main team, I have Sabitzer. And obviously, he is a little bit more attacking than he is defensively. But I have Marino and Saul in this team, both of CDMs. And they can both do a job absolutely anywhere in that midfield. So I do genuinely think this is one of the most important parts of this team. Marino and Saul, very, very solid in the midfield. Now going on to the left-hand side. Now, for me, this is... Even if you don't end up liking this guy massively, this just massively makes sense to go for. Oyer Azabal is currently 3k on the market. For an 85-rated card... He's going to go up in price anyway, but he is also genuinely very good this year. Now, Oyarzabal normally would be a card that I would say isn't particularly viable because he's three-star, three-star. Skill moves really aren't that important this year, and I genuinely mean that. I've seen a lot of pro players as well saying they're not that important. I've got a friend of mine who hits top 100 last FIFA, and he was like, I don't use skill moves because I don't need to. Um, and so Oyarzabal becomes incredibly viable. I would say the only thing you maybe need to consider is a small pace boost on this card. You maybe get yourself like a catalyst, or if you want to go for a hawk or a hunter, if you really want to. But personally, I think Oyarzabal is fantastic, and he's going to play as a wide cam in this position because it's going to be a four triple two that I would recommend playing this team in game. But Oyarzabal is so so good, so so effective, and genuinely three star three star. Do not let it scare you because three star three star is not the end of the world this FIFA. Now we're going into our strikers. Now the first striker is a player you do need to put a position with a fire on. And that is Rodrigo. Obviously he's a cam in game. You want to make him a centre forward. You don't necessarily need to make him a striker. Spanish or Premier League manager. And he'll have the chemistry anyway. I'd recommend using a Spanish Liga Santander manager by the way. Because that just helps get everybody on chemistry. Um, Rodrigo's really good again this year. Uh, he was really, really good at the start of last FIFA. His card has been downgraded a little bit this FIFA. But he's still very, very good. Still very, very viable. And again, an absolute steal. Basically, this card. I think he's, what, 750? Yeah, 750 on the market right now. 
Saul is unbelievable. But he is going to be partnered with, in my opinion, my favourite striker I've used this year. And that is Isaac. This guy is unbelievable. And honestly, his card looks good. It plays incredibly well in game. He just scores goals for fun. He doesn't feel, again, like 66 balance. He feels fantastic. He's physical. Even though he's tall, he's not clunky. I've been using him with a basic, and he's got an average of two goals a game for me in Div Rivals. I'm loving Isaac so far, this FIFA. He really, really has been huge for me in this game. In my first game with him, I brought him on at halftime, and he scored a hat-trick. I knew from that moment Isaac was going to be a good card for me, and I, I cannot recommend this card enough especially for 750 coins it it just makes sense boys it just makes sense but this is the team in game as you can see here currently on 99 chemistry but again that's because at the moment rodrigo is on three chemistry if you make him in that center forward you'll be absolutely fine obviously you can also run this in a slightly different formation you can run the 4-5-1 with three center mids have rodrigo or saul as your left center mid have marino as your middle center mid and then rodrigo or saul as your right center mid the only player that'll be off chem then will be Bailey. You can run the 4-5-1 with two cams and a striker and play Isaac at striker, Saul at centre mid, Rodrigo at cam, Marino at cam. The only player that will be off chem then will be Hermoso. So if you're willing to have one player off chem and not have to buy the chemistry style, uh, sorry, the, um, the what's it called, position modifier, then you can do that. However, it's obviously sacrificing somebody being on six chem, but that's entirely up to you. But hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video if you have then please do let me know if you've got any thoughts or suggestions on this team then let me know down below obviously we're here to help each other pop them in the comment section personally for me for 20,000 coins this team is unbelievable and i really do recommend it so if you have enjoyed it please leave a like on the video it supports me the video and the channel out a whole bunch if you're new hit that sub button and turn notifications on to be told anytime that we upload a video if you want to catch us on our live streams hersey games yt over on twitch there is a link in the description if you're watching this video live i should be live again tomorrow currently on holiday at the time this is being uploaded but i should be live again tomorrow but uh while you're in the uh, description as well make sure you check out our channel sponsors of m21 and real footy prints code hursty will get you a discount but for now guys i want to say a massive thank you for watching i've been tom you guys have been awesome and i'll see you soon the car says and of course wash your hands what? in a bit nah, nah, his name is hursty slap bald head yeah, it'll probably hurt me bang top bins yeah, it'll probably hurt you ginger streamer platform youtube drop a name in the chat or say hello entertain yeah, you already know capital h yeah i'm a read it slow hursty games yeah you already know